Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning, Lala. And on Wealth Wednesday, it's all about you deserve it, right? So Dr. Josh Wagner is in the house, the author, mentor, coach, speaker, all the above. You deserve it. You have the answer. What is the answer to getting what we deserve? Well, let's start. So for years, I've coached doctors. <clears throat> I've mentored people of all walks of life all over the world. And I've come to discover the single greatest reason why people stay stuck and don't get what they really want in life. And Rob, Dr. Aaron, I know you're going to love this because of your expertise and your background. So let's start. It's 9.30 a.m. How many social media platforms, on average, do you think the person... Uh, typical person has already logged into today? The answer is five. We all know the benefits of social media, but we also know the dark side. Fear of missing out. I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. Their life is better than mine. What that is leading to is the highest levels of anxiety, depression, and even suicide in history, mm -hmm. not just in adults, but in children. What I share in this book and what I'm going to share with you today is going to make a difference for that. So. I'm going to ask you one question. It's personal, so I want you to keep the answer in your mind. But think of an area that's really important in your life, you really care about, and you want to see change, like your big goal. It could be finances, health, relationships, mm -hmm. happiness, peace of mind. And for the viewers at home, think of your area too. And think of that end result you really want. And I'm going to ask a very simple question with a yes or no answer, but keep it to yourself. Do you truly believe you deserve having that in your life? And for the viewers, do you truly believe you, des you deserve having that in your life? The deserving belief is the answer. Without it, we self-sabotage, we procrastinate, we stay stuck, we burn out. With it, we have the energy, inspiration, ideas, we take the right steps, we meet the right people, and life's serendipities and synchronicities align to put us on our path. That's what I share in the book with a process, like you asked earlier about the meditation, a process to flip your switch from undeserving to deserving. I think there's an important part, though, in flipping the switch, because while I believe I truly deserve happiness and success in that area of my life, I may have never experienced that. I can't visualize it, I can't feel it, because I don't know it. It wasn't the conversation I was born into. So what are the steps we can take after we believe we deserve it, to really feel it, to embody it, to manifest it for ourselves? Great question. So most people who've achieved what they want, they didn't grow up with the silver spoon. They didn't grow up with their parents having that level of wealth or happiness. So it's actually not what we do after we believe we deserve it. Those steps actually come naturally. It's cultivating the deserving belief. So all the visualization, the goal setting, the affirmations, the vision boards, those are all great and they have their place. But if you don't have a deserving belief first, none of that's going to take shape. So really, it's cultivating first the deserving So you're belief. saying it's almost like an, an, an entitlement. Like, for example, when you said that, I mean, I'll just, I've been really, I'm, I'm so transparent. It was about love for me. I'm like, I, I absolutely deserve to have an amazing, extraordinary relationship. Hell yes, I, I believe that. And yes, I deserve that. But then it's like Jess says, right, I did not come from a family that was married. I've never witnessed very many good m marriages or relationships, quite frankly. So how do we actually, like, move past that? And, you know, we've, we teach all kinds of things. But what is different about what you teach versus what so many people teach about subconscious work or manifesting? Great. So the best analogy I give is it's like if you just do what you want, the goal setting, affirmations, visualization, manifestation techniques, it all has its place but it's trying to build a mansion on top of a swamp. You could have the best architects, resources, all the money in the world to put into it, but if it's on a faulty framework of undeserving beliefs, it's going to sink. So what I've created is the deserving process. It's a very simple do at home, doesn't cost a dollar, to flip your switch from undeserving to deserving. I love that. So um, I love this. Of course, I certainly believe that everyone um, wants to and should believe they deserve what they want, right? Um, and I know there's the other side of the coin. I work with a lot of folks and um, a lot of executives, and part of the challenge they experience is they say, well, people nowadays are more entitled than ever, and they believe mm -hmm. they deserve things that they haven't spent any time working so at true. or practicing mm -hmm. or deserving, you know, and they haven't earned it yet, and yet they think they believe it. So what do we say to those people that are struggling with either themselves or other people who said, man, I really feel entitled to it, or this person feels entitled to it, but either they're not experiencing it or it's off-putting to some people? Oh, absolutely. And we all know if it's entitlement, that's superficial. That's not a real core, true, deserving belief. And that's why the people you're referencing probably aren't getting there stuck, they're struggling, they're in burnout, because it's not a true deserving belief. It's, I should have it. 
my parents had this, I'm entitled to it. So what was your journey to writing the book and to becoming the expert uh, in space? Coaching doctors all over the world for years, and not just doctors, but people of all walks of life. I just got back from Australia and Barcelona on seminars I gave, and next ones are in the States. But what made you decide you wanted to be a coach? I mean, what was your journey to that? What flipped your switch? Well, there are many realms, whether it's financial relationships, but even in practice, I didn't believe initially I deserved success in practice based on how I was actually taught to practice. Once I made those switches and what I was thinking and what I was saying with patients, that flipped the switch for me, and that's actually what I share with most doctors, how to create the exceptional new patient experience. Oh, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. I just love that. So what's next for you? What's next for me yeah, is sharing this book. book. So this book comes out in about two weeks. Okay. It'll be Barnes & Noble, Amazon. Uh, Pre-release is available at my website, drjoshwagner.com, as well as a gift for viewers is a deserving process audio for free that they can use to guide themselves through this process towards any area of their life, financials, health, mm -hmm. relationships, happiness, peace of mind. That's what's most important to me is people realizing that no one's born with an undeserving belief. You're born as a blank slate, and our parents, our society, our influencers shape us. But we could change that. Right. And they it, shove that software for <laughs> right, right. yeah, it, it doesn't matter your background, your ethnicity, mm -hmm. your gender, your sexual orientation. No one is undeserving of anything that life has to offer. But we don't all believe that. Sure. So, so you're, again, you're saying that the foundation is belief, which we completely concur. believe you deserve. Yeah, it, it, we completely, I mean, a thousand percent believe that. And there's many ways of doing that through trauma, through subconscious, through whatever. And you're saying that through audio is what you. Oh, suggest? audio is just one way. I teach the deserving process in the book. Sometimes it's easier for someone to hear me walk them through it rather than remember. It's a three step okay. process. You got to get the book to get the foundation of how we walk through. Well, you yeah. can listen to the audio and still get it. So you don't have to buy the book. but. It's a 20 minute, for the most part, meditative yeah. process, deserving process. Wonderful. Remember, you deserve it. And stay tuned. We'll be right back with more on Good Morning La La Land.